Okay, so I just put up, <laughs> hi cutie, the magic mesh. And, um, let's see what Putty does. Go ahead, go outside. Go ahead. Don't bite. Uh-uh. Don't bite. Okay, I'm going to push through. See, I came through just fine. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Okay, let's try that again. So far, this thing's pretty cool, except that it magnetizes to the door and when a human goes through. Let's see. Buddy, come on in. You're so smart. Okay, let's try it with a treat. You ready? You want a treat? Okay. Oh, well, that was easy. She can't find it. Good girl. Putty, here. Good. Oh, she's got it down. Good girl. Okay, if you guys have been wondering, we've got such a fly issue. So this is what it looks like. It's black on a white door, but it's really not that offensive. Oh, she's totally fine with it. She's got it. So we've got um, how it comes. I got the double door because this is the double door, but we never open this side because it's too hot and Steve has allergies. But, uh, okay, I got it open. I mean, we really never open it. Okay. So it has a sticky tape Velcro right here and you double side sticky tape it to it. And it also has some thumbtacks that you can poke in there. And um, so you go all the way around the door and it was too long for it. You also can cut it to your door. I had to cut, I've got, we've got the smallest door. So I had to cut just to strip off, it was no big deal. But um, so I put the open side on, obviously the side that we use and it just is already sewn at the top. You don't have to line it up. It's sewn together here. So it's already lined up and ready. It was super easy to put in. Um, that's what it looks like from out here. Although I've got the screen shut. This is what I was using was the pennies. I keep moving it around the pennies for the flies and it does nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't think either of that I'm doing it wrong. I've done it every year and tried it and it just doesn't seem to help especially if I'm cooking, they just come right in. So since we've had her, the door's open, cracked a lot, and the flies are just coming in all the time, as you've seen with our bug assault. So it was too long, and I think it said you could cut it, but I just did a quick little stitch across the bottom just so it would stay to the right part. I'm sure it could drag and stuff. I didn't even bother on this side. I just left it because it's never gonna be opened. Um, but I just stitched across there um, on each side, and you know, not like a pretty stitch or anything. I just tacked it basically. Uh, the only downside to this thing is that there's magnets down here and this is metal. So it magnetizes to that. And then when a human goes through, which is easy, it sticks to the door coming in, obviously out some big deal and a stomach deal. I might stick a thick plastic or something right under here and just double stick it. Metal. Um, then maybe it won't, it won't magnetize to it and that might work. I tried with this. See the wind just blew that. If this is on here, it doesn't. It, uh, I guess it does. It seems to be thicker than that even. But it's not, it doesn't want to really stick on there. It would prefer to stick to the thing. So I wonder if I can mount something thick plastic right here on the back of this. Although it's, it'll just stick like this, I guess. Hmm. Anyway, so I'll just keep experimenting with it. But so far, I think it's awesome. It's a great little invention. And I do think it's going to be durable. And Putty, that's the only concern I had was that she wouldn't... I actually wasn't even really concerned. She's so smart. I knew she'd be able to figure it out just with a couple treats. Treats will do anything. She didn't even care. She's figured it out. She wants outside. She's going to figure out how to get outside. She's going to push the door if she wants to. So... She's got a little bit, it's a shorter side right here, which is great. So if we have it cracked like this, and I put these in when, not during the top heat, hottest part of the day, 
but I'll put um, one of those in there and then at least she can get in and out but we'll see what happens when it's kind of propped like that if she will figure out how to squeeze through potty Let's see what happens Oh, you got it down. You are the smartest dog in the freaking world. You are so bold and brave and just confident and so smart. Oh, I can't believe it. You don't even know why you're smart, but you are. Oh, look, that's gonna be an issue. But most of the flies are gonna be coming in from up there, but look, it just stuck to it. So I guess I'll have to put a piece of thick plastic here too, maybe. We'll see. And I'll have to catch her if she tries to chew on it. Uh-uh. Don't bite. She's pretty good if you tell her which things she can and can't chew on. She'll leave them alone. Which is really unbelievable to me. I don't even know why she would do that. But she's kind of like respectful. Leave that alone. Uh-uh. See? Look at that girl. Good girl. You're so smart. Such a good girl. My goodness, I love you so much. I just love you so much. You're such a smart girl. Hi. I love you. You like your new magic mesh? That'll keep all the flies out. I don't know what daddy's going to shoot now. He just loves to shoot them. But he hates them being in the house more than he loves to shoot them, if you know what I mean. Okay, on to the next. <laughs> Goofy. Uh-uh. No teeth. No bite. Good girl. Good girl. All right, enjoy your life. Oh, you're pretty. <laughs>